Hi guys, it's Mitz here from Tips for PC and WordPress website builder dot com. Um, I just wanted to show you um, the difference between WordPress dot com and WordPress dot org. Okay, now what I did is I simply googled it. Uh, the question I googled: What is the difference between these two? Now I just came to the WordPress dot com website. Now, years ago, I went and got a free WordPress uh, website, which was great. But this is what happened. Now, on WordPress.com, that's where you get the free website, and they also host it for you free. Now, basically, I'm just going to cut this short. Um, you you cannot control your blog yourself um, if you don't keep it updated you will get an email saying hey this is not good enough we're going to kick you out um, I mean they're not that bad of course but like if you leave a blog sitting around for six months I will tell you this um, also if you wanted to add to your code the PHP code or anything like that or put some HTML in you can't edit the back of your blog you you cannot access the server now this is why um, I don't use a uh, free WordPress blog but on the other hand it is good if you want to gain some traffic to your main website or something like that now it's a it's a free um, hosting thing so why not use it um, now on the other hand wordpress.org supplies you with um, all the goods it supplies you with the wordpress to install the plugins the themes everything and um, the only thing is that you have to host it on your own server this gives you the control of what you want to do with it so wordpress.org right does not host websites okay now you have to host it yourself but you can install any theme you like you can put AdSense in you can um, edit the code the CSS you can edit everything you can turn your blog upside down you don't even have to update it you can do whatever you want with this one here it's it actually hosts your free website and it gives you a name to use and everything like that um, and you have less control okay so it's pretty simple um, and also it's free and they also host it free now if you're serious you will get your own hosting and upload WordPress to your own hosting it's as simple as that I do not um, see any other way around this because um, WordPress is fantastic but just not the free version okay I hope you all understand that and thanks for watching